Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and this is Jen Restyle and Fashion. Over here, what I love to do is take unused and pre-loved pieces and transform them into something really special and unique that can help to enhance your wardrobe. I also take a lot of new pieces and incorporate them with my old pieces and really just make my wardrobe more sustainable. And I hope that doing that will help to inspire you to do the same thing. It's all about breathing new life into our old wardrobes. It's about creativity, sustainability, redesigning, reimagining, what something could possibly be by just making some little tweaks here and there. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then stick around and we'll get started right away. All right, you guys. So if you don't know by now, if you don't follow me over on Instagram or you haven't been following my shorts, then you may not know that I've recently become a creator for Goodwill. And this is the goodwill of the greater Chicago metropolitan area and Wisconsin. And uh, there are stores in Chicago going all the way north into Wisconsin. I said one day I was going to try to stop at all of them, but haven't quite gotten there yet. And now that I don't have a vehicle, eh, it might be a little bit of a stretch, but we're going to work on it. Anyway, um, so in the last couple of weeks, I have been to the Goodwill outlet. I've also been to my local store. I've been out to Skokie and I've also been out to Evanston stores and I've been doing a little shopping, but I spent a day last week at the Goodwill in the city of Chicago and I did a little shopping. We're going to throw it back to that shopping experience and then we're going to talk about what I actually got from that shopping experience. And when I tell you guys, I just feel like all the goodness comes to me when I get to the thrift store. That's why I just can't wait to take you guys with me thrifting and really talk to you about what to look for, how to look for quality and how to recognize when you see like a sleeve sticking out of a rack, knowing that that's like a well-known brand or quality piece or something. And it truly is an art, but it definitely can be taught and it takes a little practice. And so I really, really love sharing that with you guys. So again, when we get to 20K, <laughs> I will be announcing our um, meet up and the date and all of that good stuff for you to be able to, you know, hopefully schedule it, work it into your schedules. And I would love to meet you guys. Now, hopefully it's either going to be, um, in Chicago or Atlanta and it will be around whenever I'm doing a show. So I have a show in Chicago in April and I also have a show in Atlanta in April. So one of those times, um, you know, we're going to do a meetup. So fingers crossed that we make it to 20 K by the end of the year. That's the goal. Um, so please, please be sure to like, <laughs> please be sure to like, leave a comment or something below. I would truly appreciate it. It really helps the channel to grow and, you know, I think the meetup is going to be so much fun because I have so many giveaways for you guys and just so many things that I want to share. And don't forget to sign up for my newsletter. I'm going to link the link below um, and I'll put it here on the screen. Sign up for my newsletter because I make special announcements over there. I'm also doing giveaways over there and you get information early. So like I'm recording this video now, but I'm also working on my blog post and my newsletter. You'll get all of this before it even comes to YouTube. Um, when I have coupon codes and things, they go into the newsletter first. They usually go into my Instagram stories as well. But you guys, if you're following me over on Instagram, then you're getting it 
but the newsletter puts everything in one place. So all the links will be there, the discount codes, the information on the meetup, how close we are to getting to the meetup, all of that good stuff. So, all right, so let's throw it back to thrifting with me at Goodwill. And then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about the pieces that I picked up while I was there. All right, you guys, let's go. Hey y'all. All right. So as soon as I walked in, I went straight for the men's section and y'all, look at what I found. I'm going to roll it back to the film from my camera. Do y'all see this? Like there were three outfits in a row with these bold colors. I was like, I can do something with this. Look at these shoes. They don't look like much, but y'all, I tried them on. They feel so comfortable. You know, I walk to work most days and I don't like to always wear sneakers. So these are completely suede and they're by um, Belissa. So I'm going to look them up and see what they look like. They look really nice and they're super comfortable. So these might be my walk back and forth to work shoes. So I'm waiting until the music goes off. Um, I'm over here in the dress section, just kind of seeing what is over here. That could potentially be something. I just don't have the time or willingness to work with it. But somebody who does could really make that into something very beautiful. Why do I always find this good stuff in the store? So I just went online and I googled. Also found these Merlot color boots by Nicole Miller. I thought those were really nice. They have a little suede here on the side. Nice heel. I thought those were pretty cool. This is a really nice coat from Sam Edelman. And I'm here for it because all the blazers are so super cute. I think I have to get all of them. None of the pants fit. Like they're all like those like pedal pusher type pants. So I would definitely have to turn them into a skirt or maybe add something to the sleeves because some of the sleeves are short, short but the body fits and I just love all of these colors <laughs> I'm blown away that somebody got rid of all this stuff so anyway this one's ten dollars a little more than I want to spend but we're gonna we're gonna work it out I guess you all can still hear me. Hopefully, I won't get a copyright infringement from the music, but I found another jacket that I want to try on. And then we got to get out of here because I teach class tonight. So, so what I like about this jacket is that it is super long. Long it is. It's super long. And it's very fitted, and I could probably cover this um with some other fabric it's supposed to close but i don't like where it closes like right here that's not cool but i do like it open so i think i'm gonna add this one to my fall wardrobe and then i'm gonna upcycle it later we're gonna grab this bag because it fits into the current trend color aesthetic so we got that. 
I was thinking about grabbing this denim jacket because I don't have anything, any denim in this color. And you guys know this is the color of the season. So we're on the fence for eight bucks. This is a maybe. All right, so we have this men's DKNY jacket that's nice and oversized. I really, really like the oversizedness of it. I think it's perfect. So it's just enough oversized to not look like you're wearing somebody else's clothes, like you intentionally have on an oversized jacket. Okay, so this one I am putting back. I feel like I could get fabric and do something like this. And plus it's not a blazer, it's a shirt, so it's going back. We are definitely keeping this blazer, although it's going to need a little work. All right, so this is the only jacket that fit perfect. So I think, oh, nope, and the sleeves were too long on this one, too. I really like this. Um, so I'm going to take this one and the pink. And then on this one, I am going to take the pants that go with it. It's a set. So I found a nice pair of Ann Taylor pants. These will go really nice with that colorful blazer. I found these really nice Cole Haan flats. These probably won't hurt my feet. <laughs> Mm, they're a little tight. Oh well. It was a good try. Minimal wear. Hey guys, how goes it? All right, we are back and we're here for the haul. I was looking for a few key things. I was looking for burgundies, chocolate brown, suede, denim, oversized jackets. That was, that was, that was kind of what I went in with. Although I found some pieces like that, I didn't, I didn't buy them. Now there was this a suede Liz Claiborne bag that honestly, y'all, I feel like I want to go back tomorrow and get. I kind of do. So anyway, we're going to get into it. I did get another men's blazer. It was a DKNY jacket. 
I tried it on in the store. You guys saw it. And I thought it was just oversized enough to look oversized, but not so oversized that it looked like I was wearing something that belonged to someone else. It is very, very nice. Um, in really great condition. Not a lot of wear. You know, the underarms are not stained. That's something that you always want to look for when you're shopping for like jackets and blazers and things like that. Always look at the underarm and look around the collar. See if you've got any wear around there. I don't buy it. I mean, it has to be something just drop dead that makes me get it if it's got all of that on there. So this is a great piece. I think it's great quality. Um, I am going to have to send it to the dry cleaners. I told you guys I've messed up so many jackets, throw it in the washing machine. The only time that I go ahead and throw them in the washing machine is if it's for fabric only. That means that once I take it out the washing machine, I'm hanging it and I'm disassembling it. I'm not trying to create a crop jacket. I'm not trying to create something from that. It is at that point, it's ruined as a jacket by itself, if you understand what I mean. So this is a, but it is a bodysuit and it's got this really cute bow in the front. And I really thought this was nice. And, and I'll tell you guys, I'm short on tops. I don't know. I don't know where my tops are. I've had this top on three times in the last two weeks. I keep throwing a washing machine, putting it back on because I don't have any tops. And so I realized that when I was in the store today, now this is a medium, but I'm going to make it work. And I just feel like I like the sleeves on it. Um, I like that. I could do this kind of a little off the sleeve or at least uh, off the sleeve, off the shoulder or a little like on the shoulder here. And I think it's really nice. And I love the fact that it's a bodysuit. So I picked that up. It's got a pretty pattern in it. I do wish I could find some things that weren't black because I have a lot of black and I'm not a black wearer. I am a color person. So that'll do for now. But in the future, I am going to be looking at more tops. This jacket is by Super Down. I love the cut of it. I love the way it fits. I didn't like where it was buttoning, but that's okay because what I'm planning to do with it won't matter about the button. Really loving this jacket. I got this beautiful shirt from... Um, a goodwill and it is an H&M brand and it's really oversized and I have really been wanting to do that oversized blouse hack where you wear it a bunch of different ways and button it up different and turn around. I want to do all of that. So I got that one specifically so that I could practice that style. Plus I thought the color was really beautiful and I think it's going to fit really nicely into my fall trends um, or my fall outfit. Um, I also got these tabby. They fit me perfect. They are a perfect fit. And then I was telling you in the store that I found these suede loafers. Again, suede's having it in a moment. Um, these are by Belfisa and they don't look like much, but y'all, when I put them on, the comfort that I was feeling and being able to have a regular shoe that I can wear to work, back and forth to work, walking every day, this is what I prefer. I feel like I feel like I really needed to elevate my shoe game walking to work. I did I do wear those Zara flats, but you know, they're mesh and although the comfort level is amazing with a Dr. Scholl's insole, insole, I know that's not going to get me through the fall because eventually my feet are going to be cold. And with these, I can at least wear a pair of socks, a thin pair, but a pair of socks nonetheless. So this pink blazer is an ASOS blazer. Um, again, I told you there was somebody let go a lot of ASOS and I don't really have anything pink. 
So I know I'm going to have another breast cancer awareness thing. And I don't really have anything to wear for that. I have one pink Christian Dior jacket and another pink vintage jacket and then an old jacket that I got from H&M that's really more of a fuchsia. So this will be in the rotation. We will keep this. I do really, really like that. And here's the other jacket. So the pink one has little flowers on it. Like it looks like maybe peonies and some other things. This one actually has little birds all over it. It's so cute and fabulous. And yes, the sleeves are a little short but the body of it fits and that jacket came with these pants i haven't decided what i'm going to do probably it's going to be a skirt It'll probably be a pencil skirt more than likely i just couldn't leave without them so i'm i'm going to see what the washing instructions are on here i feel like i should be able to throw these in the washing machine all right so i grabbed these gray slacks these are perfect for the fall wardrobe they um, gray is one of those colors that is is does so well with that trending burgundy um, it does well with your greens it does well with your blacks and so i got these gray pants that i'm really excited about they are ann taylor they're size six um, they are not lined but you will see these i've got to check the fabric content because I was hoping they weren't wool and they're not so that's good that means that they can be thrown in the washing machine um, another thing that goes really well with like a gray wool pants is going to be light blue and on this shirt um, I'm not for the try on, but for later, I am going to sew the rhinestones on because I feel like that look is so beautiful and I want to replicate it and I don't want to spend $695. No, I'm sorry, $395 for a gray shirt. And it wasn't even a whole shirt, y'all. It was a crop shirt. It was $395. So I went on Amazon and I found some little rhinestones, sew on rhinestones, and they'll be coming in a few days. So in the meantime, you know, and in between time, your girl is going to be eventually working on that. Okay. So I also grabbed this bag. It is kind of a chocolate brown. And what I love about it is the handles with that turquoise blue mixed in. It is not leather, but I like it. I thought it, I like the little slouchiness of it. And I think it's gonna go great in my fall look. Um, and then the last thing that, or the last things that we grabbed are these ties. I got a ton of them in really bright colors because I have some ideas of some things that I want to do and I want the ties to have more of a feminine flair. So I got this one that's pink and green. I don't know if you guys can see that. I got this one with the green polka dots. That one's really nice. Um, this one with the pink and gray and blue polka dots. I might actually wear that tie with that blue shirt and do something with it. I, I might just do that. I think that might be really cute for my fall outfit. Hey guys, it's the next day. I am popping this into the video because I left the thrift store yesterday and did not get a pair of shoes to wear with the slacks <clears throat> and I needed one additional outfit. I know overboard, but I'm really trying to make a good splash for this content creator for Goodwill. This is the, well, this isn't the first time I've had to do a reel or create content for a brand, but 
this is the first time that it's been so explicit like what you have to do and I just really wanted it to be good so anyway I'm back I have just a few more items to share with you and then we're gonna get back into the video and then I'll close it out like I had planned so <laughs> all right be right back okay so the main thing I went back for I found these black suede shoes now the thing i like about them is that they're a wedge so that means they're super comfortable and they're suede i just i'm not fully on board with the round toe but i'm gonna make these work and now my battery is running out okay so suede shoes with a wedge perfect um, they'll, they'll be perfect. All right. So then I grabbed this moto jacket. Now, if you haven't already seen my video where I went to the Goodwill outlet and I picked up a, uh, faux leather moto jacket that I was working on a different campaign for Goodwill that I ended up not having to do. And I washed the moto jacket and y'all, the whole thing just disintegrated. I knew it was paper thin, but it was only for a costume. So I just threw it in the wash. I throw faux leather in the wash all the time. Anyway, it didn't survive. So I had to go and find another one. I was literally searching high and low in the store and I found one and it had just come in off of from the back. And this is from Amazon The Drop. And it's this cute little cropped moto jacket that I really, really like. So I'm throwing this in the wash tonight and I'm going to work on my reel. This was, this was so good. And I really wanted another one because I wanted to paint. I really want to paint a faux leather jacket um, and like put like my brand name on there and some like graffiti art or just some color. And I think this is going to be the one and it's so cute. It, and I looked at it and I was like, why did anybody, why did, why did somebody give this up? Like it's, it's adorable. <laughs> it's an adorable little jacket. I, I like the fact that the zippers are black, the pocket zippers are black. So anyway, it's mine now. And then look at this little black vintage clutch. Y'all, it is so cute. And it's real leather. It's suede on the inside. And it's by Philippe. Anyway, this was only five bucks. And I was like, oh, this is going to be so good. This is going to be so good. And... Then I found another pair of those Zara jeans. Oh, I got to stand up for these with the knees just cut out just a little slash on both knees. And these are super oversized. Y'all know I love a jean like that. And so what this is going to do after I shoot the video and the post for Goodwill, now I have an extra pair that I can go in and do like stones on or um, embellish in some kind of way because that's really really what I want to do I all right you guys let's get into the styling now here is my haul these are the pieces that I couldn't put on the hanger this is everything else I'm actually filming this portion for a reel that I'll be doing soon it might I doubt that it'll be up by the time this video is up however I do want you to go over to my Instagram page and like the reel that's up the more love you show it the more it will help me be able to continue to work with Goodwill and bring you these great capsule wardrobes and kind of show you how to do the styling and really encourage you to go and support um, your local Goodwill and, you know, also be chic at the same time. All right, let's start off with this great shirt by H&M. The shirt is the perfect oversize that you can tie, turn backwards, restyle so many different ways. 
I definitely felt like it was giving me the model off duty look, uh, the Gen X model off duty that is. Um, pairing it with the dark chocolate bag, this picture I turned it backwards and tied it in the back. Paired it with the gray slacks. I also paired it with a pair of black slacks that I had thrifted from Goodwill some time ago. These jeans, I just love. Now they are one size too big for me, but it also gives them a longer length. Um, I did put the bodysuit with this. I put the moto jacket with it. I'm wearing the tabbies with it. I've got the leather, vintage leather clutch. I've got the sunglasses from Jessica Simpson that I picked up, y'all. The, the outfits are giving, okay, giving. Um, and then I paired it with the oversized blue um, blazer and then just with the shirt, put a belt around the shirt to give it some structure. Um, I really like the oversized jacket. And then I put the tabbies on with the jeans and I think they look just fine. They're super comfortable for a long day that you got to spend walking around. And then the pink jacket with the jeans. I mean, tell me this isn't just styled up, styled down after work, before work. And then the jacket with the birds, even the pants, even the little cropped pants turned out to be so super cute with the black um, bodysuit underneath and so now we're transitioning into the blue super down blazer with the gray pants and the uh, suede wedges and the lady tie which i will definitely definitely be sharing a tutorial with you guys later all right i hope you guys enjoyed and let me know in the comments what you think all right bye